Hello everybody, my name is Professor Sabrina Isaac Berry and today is the exit slip of another calculus lecture. And we will be breaking up all the complication of calculus to just make it a little simple. To make it just one simple concept that every one of you can understand. This is calculus. And by clicking on this video, you are obligated to learn with me, and I am obligated to teach you. Now let us thank Sir Isaac Newton for inventing this beautiful subject. Let us begin with our exit. So we want to find the limit as x approaches 6 of f of x plus x times g of x, and we only have two given. The limit is x approaches 6 of f of x is 25. The limit is x approaches 6 of g of x is 7. Now, at first, to calculus beginners, this may look hopeless. There's not enough information to deduce anything. But, here's a little trick. We can use the laws that we've learned in the big idea to maneuver around this. Because we know the limit is x approaches 6 of this entire thing. If we use the law of addition and multiplication, then we know that this is just the limit as x approaches 6 of, of, of f of x plus the limit is x approaches 6 of whatever demonic entity x and g of x make up together. And we can also use the multiplication law say that this can be reformed as plus the limit uh that's the wrong place with the plus sign plus the limit is x approaches six of x times the limit is x approaches six of g of x so now let's plug in all the values we've learned so first of all we have this value. This value says that the limit is x approaches 6 of f of x is 25. So this is going to be 25. We bring down the plus. Then what is the limit is x approaches 6 of x? Well, x is approaching 6. So 6. And then we multiply that by the limit is x approaches 6 of g of x, which if we look at our little value table, is equal to 7. So we'll put 7 in its place. So now we use PEMDAS to get this formation. 25 plus 42, which brings us to a grand answer of 67. 